Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a thrift store haul and I went to two different thrift stores. I went to Desert Industry and Salvation Army. So I'm just gonna show you what I picked up at, uh, let's start with Desert Industry, right here, just DI. So to begin, I found these wine glasses. I think they're so pretty. I love the shape of them. Uh, my hubby and I had gone before and we picked up two of these uh, wine glasses, it, almost exactly the same, except they were a little taller and I accidentally broke one. So I went back and I found, actually I found three more of these guys and they're just a little smaller, but they're still nice. I like the, the shape of them. I bought them for a dollar each and I have two more wrapped up in here. I just didn't want to take them out, but these are really pretty. And we're wine drinkers, so I love the way these look. All right, so also uh, I went and this is not all in one trip. I went several times. So um, I don't have a lot. It's not too much. They re I really haven't been finding anything that great at the thrift store. But I did find this glass here. This wine glass was 50 cents. And it had the matching it was a matching set but the other one was broken look you guys it's mickey oh my god how cute is that it is mickey mouse and he's out of glass and again 50 cents they had mini mouse as well i took a picture of her and i'll show i'll insert it right now but she was broken all right here and I was so upset because, oh my God, that would have been perfect, Mickey and Minnie. But um, I'm happy with this one. Okay. So I did look these guys up and they are from, well, what I see in the description is that they're from the Disney in Paris, I guess. I don't know. But I, they do sell these on eBay. Um, they call them vintage. I don't know if they're vintage, but they were, I think the cheapest one that I seen was $45. So, oh, I wish they would have had the mini that wasn't broken, but I'm happy with this one. All right, so I needed a gravy boat, and I've been holding out on buying one because, I don't know, I just didn't like the ones that they had that were too plain. But I seen this one, and this one looked really pretty. Now, it looks like it has like a, a glass ladle in here, and this was $2. It's dusty I, and, you know, dirty. I got to clean it up, but I like this ladle here. So I can use it for gravy or any sauce, maybe like a strawberry sauce or something like that when I do my tea party, you know, and you can, that's why I like this. This looks really pretty. It actually looks like Aladdin's uh, genie bottle, doesn't it? But I like the way this one looks. It looked different to me, so I liked it. So for $2, I picked it up. Then the other thing that I picked up, I needed a butter dish and... I picked up this one and I just like the way it looks. It just looks so different. This one was two dollars. But look at how pretty. I mean, I don't know. I just I seem to like all the little details on here. It has like hobnail here and then the scalloped edges. I just liked it. It was really pretty. So I picked that up for two dollars. There's not really a lot that I found at the, um, the DI or uh, Salvation Army either but anyway um I did find these cutting boards these were three dollars and they're brand new I don't know where they sell these I don't know if they're from Walmart or what but for three dollars I picked it up so yep can't go wrong with that all right I did pick up one movie at the di because now i think two dollars is a little much and i'll tell you in a little bit why but i already own this movie but i picked it up for my sister interview with a vampire she wanted this movie she doesn't have it so i picked it up for her and i really like this movie especially during halloween time i like to watch these movies so two dollars for interview with a vampire for my sister the last thing I found at DI, uh, my hubby collects Wedgwood and Father's Day is right around the corner. So 
um, we usually go to the auction and we buy the Wedgwood, but I found some Wedgwood at DI for 50 cents. Look at how pretty, look at the detail. I mean, serious, look at that. Beautiful. And it has the stamp right there. And I think it's so pretty. He has a heart one already, but this one has a different design on it. And for 50 cents, I picked it up. So that was everything that I found at DI. Let me start with Salvation Army. All right, so I have Salvation Army here. All right, so with that Wedgwood, I had gone to the Salvation Army first and I found some Wedgwood there. And then I went to DI and found that one. But you guys, I found, look, this is like the, the Ace of Spades. Look at how pretty. This one was 99 cents. And then I found this one. So all this is gonna go in my hubby's for Father's Day. So look at this one, how pretty. That one is beautiful. And it has the Wedgwood stamp right there as well. But it is just, they're stunning pieces. Now you either have to like it, or either you like it or you don't, you know, with Wedgwood. So, and then this one was really pretty. I have to open it up. It's an egg. Look at that. This one said $1.99. But when I went to go pay, the lady put she, all these three, and she gave all three of them to me for 99 cents, which is awesome. So I was like excited about that. So hubby's gonna have some Wedgwood for Father's Day. Of course, we're gonna get him something else, but he really does love Wedgwood, so he would be he'll be excited to see that. So I bought two movies at the Salvation Army. So the the movies at the Salvation Army are twenty five cents. They weren't before; they were ninety nine cents before, and I thought that was a great deal. But now I guess they lowered them to twenty five cents. So I bought two movies that I've never seen before. So for 25 cents, I figured I would pick it up. One is The Princess Bride. I've never seen this movie. And um, for 25 cents, I figured I can't go wrong with it. If I don't like it, then it was just 25 cents. But I bought The Princess Bride. And then I found this movie. Um, it's an old movie. It's called Meet Me in Las Vegas. I guess somebody was trying to sell it in a yard sale for $2, but I picked it up for 25 cents. Now I've seen the movie Meet Me in St. Louis or St. Louis. So I picked this one up because I don't know if it's, I don't know. I just picked it up. It just reminded me of that. So, um, I've never seen it. It's an old, old movie. And for 25 cents, I figured why not? And this is why I said $2 now is a little too much for a movie so I can go for 25 cents I like that now so now I have a new place to go pick up movies so I picked up a book also at the Salvation Army the books at the Salvation Army are 10 cents and I found this one it's called Heartless Marissa Myers the Lunar Chronicles so this is like those wicked series that I like to read um, as you can see, these are the ones that they have in this collection. I've seen some of these at Target, actually. And for 10 cents, I thought it was a steal. I mean, as you can see here, the regular price is $20, $19.99. So I picked this guy up. It's still brand new. My goodness, look at that. It's There's nothing wrong with it. No pages are torn or anything. So for 10 cents was... Oh my god a steal i did see a book there it's called the deep end of the ocean and i almost picked it up i own it my daughter had bought it for me um i owned it a long time ago and i love that book it made me cry made me laugh i love that book um but somehow with some of the moves that we had i lost it and so she had purchased it for me i think it was last year for mother's day and i seen it there and it was a hardcover and I almost got it for her because she liked that book too. And when I told her about it, she was like, oh, you know, you should have picked it up for me. I, I like it. But I went back 
and there, it was gone. So, ah, my egg. Did it break it? Oh my God. Whew, close call. The other thing that I picked up was this bag of flowers. These little rosebuds. Look at how pretty. This was 99 cents. But I can uh, use these for, say, my ornaments, my shabby chic ornaments for Christmas or just, I don't know. Look at how pretty. I, I like the way these roses look. So for 99 cents, I picked up this bag. All right, last bag. I also found some of this uh, bead, this uh, string of beads, 99 cents. See, that's just white and um, it's brand new so this is where I like to pick up say like this is where I like to pick up my laces my beads some of these flowers if you really look you can find some of this stuff and you know you usually find it really cheap so anyway the last thing I found is I'm trying to stay away from buying things that I don't need and this is one of the items I don't need, but I figured I could use it to decorate my laundry room, is these clothespins. I like the way they look. These were $1.99. Oh, and as with this, it was, uh, I got it 50% off. The white tags were 50% off that day. So this was 50 cents or 49 cents, and this was 99 cents. But look at, they, they just look different to me, and I like them. And I figured, you know, nobody sees my laundry room, but when I'm doing laundry, it's nice to see that it looks nice. So I picked these guys up for 99 cents. So that is everything that I picked up this time around um, at the thrift stores. Not much. They really haven't had much. And then um, at DI, they've been getting ridiculous with their prices. So I don't go there as often as I used to. So I did find one item that I'm not going to show you because I it's for my $5 Goodwill challenge for the fall. And, um, you know, that's one of my secrets, you guys. So I like to find things for my challenges way in advance or any holiday, really, um, way in advance. Because most of the time when they bring out some of that stuff, they just they sell it really cheap. But if you get it during, say, the fall time or Christmas time when you want to find some of these uh, decorations, they usually hike the prices up a little. I've noticed that. It might not be true for all thrift stores, but I know for the one here that I that I go to, they do that quite often. So I got this thing for my fall challenge, and I got it pretty cheap, so I still have room to play with money-wise, and I'm excited about that. But... um. There's some DIYs also that I wanted to do with you guys. I haven't done any of them yet. Uh, my daughter finally bought her house. And so she's been moving. And we've also been dealing with her storage unit being broken into. People are very mean and ugly. And she, her and her fiance had left their belongings in this storage facility that advertises to for military um, and of course, they stole a lot of their military gear and a lot of their... They left their storage unit like half empty. They took half their stuff. Um, they took all my daughter's clothes, my son-in-law's tools and toolboxes, their army gear, and they're getting ready to head out. And so now all their their gear is it's gone. It's, yeah, things, priceless um, mementos that we gave them. Um, she had picture frames with pictures in there that they stole I mean they just they went to town and they took all her appliances everything it's horrible people are horrible so yeah we've been dealing with that so anyway um but hopefully soon I can start to get into the swing of things again and start making some DIYs for you guys I do have a lot in mind but I again I apologize if I don't get them out there fast enough and I also have DIYs in mind that I want to do and then I see a couple other youtubers already have done them and I don't like to do them over and over and over again um, unless I'm gonna add my twist to it then you know I'll do it but yeah so anyways that is that is why I have not really put out 
any DIY videos. So I will get on the ball with that though. So anyways, that is enough of my rambling. So that is everything that I picked up at the thrift store. It is a small haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.